Wanted to see me, Joe. Yes. Sorry, I... Sit down. Thanks for coming. Um, you know, uh, Pat's leaving tomorrow. Where's he going? Out of the country. She is going out of the country. Gonna practice uh, medicine as a woman. I thought maybe you might like to say goodbye. No. I can't. Heather. You know, this is not resolved for you. Either. I think it would be good to see each other. Oh, Joe, I'm frightened. I don't think I can handle seeing her. Well, in all probability, sometime, someplace, that's going to happen. I think it's better if it's here your hometown. This is where it happened. It's where the people who understand are. I, I don't want either one of you going off and, and fantasizing about what you'd say and how you'd behave and when you met. It's better right now. Let me prepare you, okay? That's a woman now. Very feminine. Hair, clothes, makeup. Not at all the pet you knew. I don't know what to say. I'm just as nervous as you are. Forgive me, I can't stop staring. It's all right, really. Everyone else does. I'm getting used to it. One more person comes in here to take a beat. I'm going to charge admission. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the pain I've caused you. I just want you to know that Steve and I will be all right. I've gotten a job as an assistant to an employment counselor. Uh, first job I've ever had in my life. Imagine. That's wonderful. Uh, it's funny how it happened. I went there to ask him to help me find a job, and he ended up hiring me to help him. <laughs>
on Pat's release. Yeah, she should be leaving any minute now. There's a pack of hungry news hounds waiting out front for her. I know. I arranged for her to leave by the side exit. Catch up with her, you know. Yeah. I think she can deal with it. Mm -hmm. 